The world's oldest head of state is losing his grip on power. Zimbabwe's president, 93-year-old Robert Mugabe, is under house arrest as thousands today took to the streets in that country's capital, cheering the potential end to his rule, saying that Mugabe must go. <laughs> Celebrations outside Mugabe's residence in Harare. Previously, we were never allowed to open this road because it would go past the state house, but today is a different day altogether. The dawn of a new era. Zimbabweans here expressing hope, expecting the fall of their president, a man who has led their country for nearly four decades. Mugabe has been under military house arrest since Tuesday after he fired his deputy, a move potentially putting his wife, Grace, an unpopular figure, in a position to become his successor. Tomorrow morning, local time, Zimbabwe's ruling party will be meeting, likely to dismiss Mugabe as its leader. An update from Saad Hariri, who unexpectedly resigned as Lebanon's prime minister two weeks ago during a visit to Saudi Arabia, saying he feared assassination. Today, after meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron in Paris, Hariri revealed he will be returning to Beirut within days, where he says he will clarify his position. France, Lebanon's former colonial ruler, has offered to mediate amid the political crisis. Facing fierce international backlash, Donald Trump announcing on Twitter he put big game trophy decision on hold until such time as I review all conservation facts. Now this post coming amid fierce criticism after his administration relaxed an Obama-era ban on the import of elephant hunting trophies from Zambia and Zimbabwe to the U.S. When word broke last week that the ban on hunting trophies, parts of animals could be lifted, conservationists and celebrities really speaking out. Ellen DeGeneres really using her platform, sharing the hashtag Be Kind to Elephants, encouraging people to learn about the elephants and to make sure that ban isn't lifted. You might have seen this image shared from Ellen over social media in the last few days. And I want to share something too from the Great Elephant Census. It came out last year and said that between 2007 and 2014, a seven year period, Africa's elephant population dropped by 30%. The big reason for that, hunting.